Check us out. Outside. <laughs> Outside. Oh god, this is good. Um, it was right. weird. Welcome to another video, everybody. Welcome to um, an every disuse station where we go and visit um, abandoned stations um, and infrastructure and architecture and stuff from the oldie days. My name is Paul, and this is Rebecca. Hey. <laughs> um, today. We are looking at the Devizes branch line, which tells an interesting story. And we always try and tell an interesting story. First of all, before we get to the story, we're, looking at, we're going to tick off a few abandoned stations from on live railways before we get to the Devizes branch line, just to tick off a couple on our journey. Mm -hmm. um, but we are going to climb up a big hill first and um, give you a really good vantage point over the Puget Vale, where you can see a lot of the line. Probably a bit windy up here, but what we really wanted to do is show you how the um, or where our journey starts at Wharton Rivers Holt um, and snakes its way through the Pusey Vale before we take the branch off to Devizes. So this is our second stop of the day. Um, we think the station was down there. Not a train coming for about half an hour, but our next stop is Woodborough. So we've gone past Pusey, which is obviously an active station, Manningford, and then Woodborough next. Oh, I'm in a bush this time. Right, so that was Woodborough. Um, interestingly, we're now walking through on a pathway, obviously. It looks like someone's back garden and sort of homemade golf course. It's very funky. Yeah, it's really funky, isn't it? I mean, this is if I had a little bit of land, this wow. is what we'd do. Have a little golf course. Well, there's only one hole. I've been wondering what to do with the garden. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, Woodborough tick, onwards to. Is us um, we've ticked off now all the stations that were along this line in terms of the abandoned stations on the live line we're now going to take the uh, branch off towards devices first up pans lane halt uh yep pans which lane is in halt. devices isn't it basically so i guess so yeah opened in off. 1929 yeah. and closed when the line closed um that's our next stop now we're going to start talking about the actual devices branch line which is the main point of this video yep. Welcome to Devizes Car Park. Mm. Um, this is Devizes Car Park, and you can tell we're on an old station because it's called Station Road. Yes, Station Road Car Park. Station Road Car Park. And Station Road. Well, yeah, so the car park sits on an embankment which goes down there because the whole town is very um, sloped. Um, this side of the town, we are on the um, east side of the town, and the whole of this car park is the site of a massive station. Well, not a massive station, but certainly massive for the for the, the town that is Devizes. Um, Sweet all the way around to the left there. They had a goods yard all over the side, big old shed. Um, I think the station was almost right here. 
um, and ahead of us is the old tunnel so we're not going to make any feature about the tunnel as such because you can't get in it one side is blocked off um, under the castle and the other side is now home of the ranges which is the shooting range mm. um, Wiltshire shooting range and there it is um, lovely oh, old arch isn't, oh, it? isn't it yeah almost like castle like in fact yeah got a house sat right above it yep which looks reasonably old um, lovely that's quite amazing isn't yeah it? so this is a tick for um, Devises Station and Devises Tunnel, mm. which goes right underneath Devises. Hello, so you join us next to the um, lovely Kennet and Avon Canal. I think it's Kennet and Avon Canal. Um, Mucky but lovely. <laughs> yeah, and we've just come down a huge um, hill where Cane Hill Locks are. And that tells you the story that obviously Devises is, well that's not high relative to a lot of other towns, it's high um, in terms of it's on its own, it's sort of prominently high, it's 110, 120 metres at least high above sea level. That tells you the story of the trouble they had with building a line here, because there was a, a line they wanted to come through here, it's only GWR, I think late 30s, but it took another um, sort of 15, 20 years for them to actually build the line through there on account that it was geographically very difficult to get through, hence why they needed a tunnel under the castle. For a period of time, they used the Devizes branch um, as part of a route between London and Plymouth. So it was part of a main line and that didn't last long owing to the curves, the gradients involved to get through Devizes. Um, so ultimately Devizes didn't have uh, much of a chance when it came to the beaching cut. So 66, um, it was closed and um, it was no longer because there are alternative routes, certainly down to, um, from Partney Bridge, I think, down to Westbury, which is still now um, obviously in use. Yeah, so now we're at the bottom of Cane Hill Locks and we're looking for, what are we looking for, Rebecca? Brom, Bromham and, and Road. Road. Bromham Road Halt, we think it was a halt again. a bit of a pathway to get down and um, so it feels like the first time since last summer that we've been down a tricky pathway. At least we've got trousers on. Hmm. Right so we're very close now to, well, this is a bit wet underfoot, we're very close to a little underpass where we think near the old halt was so we might get fairly close, not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Well, you join us very close to scene and you join us on if you can see behind us you join us and in front of us is um, an embankment and it is an embankment that used to house the scene ironworks tramway built in 1857 a year later they built the station 1857 1858 they built scene station probably um, in this location to serve the ironworks because it was quite productive for a period of time and they found a great bit of iron stone they could um, try and uh, smelt and thereafter and ship around the country. Uh, that we'll tell that story in another day. But this is a, a lovely little curved embankment um, just to the south side of the um, Devizes branch just by the station. I don't know how close we're going to get to the actual station, um, scene station. Um, but it was, along with Devizes, one of the longest serving and open stations. 109 years, I think it lasted, till 66 when it was closed. Um, there was a bridge going over the station scene until the last few years when there was a lot of accidents on the bridge because it was a tight curve. Um, and they replaced it and they took, well they didn't replace it, they took it away completely. Ah. And um, it's just a flat, you know, road now going over the, um, the track bed. Right, so as close as we're going to get to scene 
because we don't want to disturb those cows because the sign's up saying please don't disturb the cows because they've got calves. Quite seen they look scary. They do look a bit scary, <laughs> don't they? Um, they're just through that gate there, seen where it was. We're pretty sure there's nothing there now because it's been obliterated by an old yard. Um, but this is a lovely curved, shallow embankment um, leading up to the ironworks. We might do another video on that because there's supposed to be an old tunnel, so keep keep tuned. Um, this has been the end of every disused station. Um, Semington was a drive-by, the last stop on the, on the uh, line. Hope you've enjoyed our first trip out in quite a while. Hooray! And it's um, been gorgeous it's been weather. Gorgeous weather, it's some nice amazing. pictures. Yeah. Um, it told the story of, of, a, of a branch line that was essentially serving a town that was too high um, and therefore didn't last through the beaching cuts. Um, yeah, wonderful. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned and stay subscribed for more of the same.